no, we haven't had any deaths that have been attributed to COVID. So we have had testing, even of those who have died, we have had testing and all the results have come back negative. More than 100 long-term care homes in Ontario have reported zero COVID-19 deaths, but one Toronto seniors home has achieved the seemingly impossible. Despite two staff and one resident contracting the virus off-site, Shepherd Village says COVID-19 never entered the doors of its facility. We didn't wait until Toronto declared or Ontario declared because we're all watching the news. The private home, which houses a total of 900 residents, says they began to restrict visitor access way back in January, weeks before the virus was officially declared a pandemic, and just as people returned home from abroad following Christmas and New Year's. Employees were subject to enhanced screening, hand hygiene audits, and full PPE requirements early on. We had staff staying on one floor. So don't even do shifts on different floors. When you come to work, you stay at work. You don't go out for lunch. You bring your lunch. We provide lunch here on site. Staff were also told they could only work at one home in the city well before the Ontario government introduced a similar plan. Beckel says they lost about 20% of its employees as a result, but they redeployed. We were training our housekeepers how to serve and, and feed the residents during mealtime. You had office staff doing screening. So it really took a group effort. So pride, I'm just, I'm just thrilled at, at how um, the team pulls together. Beckles calls the death toll in nursing homes heartbreaking and will be calling on the government to help with full-time infectious disease staff who can coordinate with local hospitals for advice well before a virus becomes a crisis. We are definitely going to be asking for that position to be funded because it, it really was an eye-opener when the hospital's expertise came in. Tammy Sutherland, City News.